And I'm here. Good morning, everyone. I got done with my pre-stream setup very quickly, uh, a few minutes before nine. So I'm just going to start now and transition. Okay, we're in game. Actually, let me turn something off first. There, it's off. All right, so last time I was playing, I did the side dungeon of the graveyard area. Uh, in this side quest where we're gonna rescue the commander. Uh, loading, loading. Goodness, even with a solid state drive, the loading in this game is a bit long. Okay. Let me see. So, yeah, uh, let's start with uh, casting our buffs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Everyone, follow then me. with Eleni, cast uh, Magic Fang. Uh, Bull Strength. Cat's Grace. I wonder if I should cast Bull Strength and Eleni Leonovo. instead of her. Pet, what's your strength? Your strength. Oh, your strength is nine. Yeah, then you don't really. You don't really benefit much from strength, do you? You probably have... You don't? Huh, interesting. You have an attack bonus of plus eight. Hmm. That's odd. But you don't have weapon finesse. Interesting. Uh... I guess I'll just give the bull strength to Eleni. I suppose I could have her shapeshift. Wild shape, rather. Okay, that's pretty decent. Plus 9 attack bonus, yes. plus 12, plus 10. Okay, so, not bad. So everyone has an A- oh, okay, it tanks her AC though. Yes. Everybody, follow me! Yes. <sighs> Alright, let's go in. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's lead with Nishka. I'm not sure if there's any traps here. Oh, there's a skeleton. Doot doot. Well, that was anticlimactic. That I can do. Okay, their AI is glitching. I need to, uh... Okay, I need I you to stop me. attacking. And let's grab Everybody Nishka. Detect mode. What is this? Disable device. I need to get rid of that. I don't actually need that. Unlock, light of hand. Okay. What do we have? Ooh, a ring of insight, which lets us identify items better. And a magical falcon. Yes. It's a plus one. Let's put this on our main character. And let me see, is this trapped? It's not good. And before we continue, let's quick save in case we wipe our party. Okay, now Anishka, I need you to open this door. <clears throat> Excuse me. Open. There they are. Attack. 
Then we have to pull Nishka away so our fighters can get in. I'm gonna control Dale so he doesn't uh, shoot anything to conserve ammo. Ooh, Nalok got infected. That's not really a big deal. Oh, Kelgar already looted everything. So I, I, I forgot I have him set to auto loot. A hey, search mode. <clears throat> I guess my throat's dry this morning. And 2 GP. Alright, moving on. I think this one is, yep, yeah, it is trapped. I still remember from when I played this years ago. All right. Should have him stop attacking. Uh, skeletons take half damage from here, from non blood No, no, I think it's like five slash bludgeoning, so they take five less damage from everything that isn't bludgeoning. Okay, so I'm gonna have you hold position. Sure, I can do that. Everybody hold position. Stay where you are. That I can't and this is the point, I don't know if I can uh, disarm the traps, but uh, the skeletons will run for- oh, they already ran forward and died. Oh well. I'm gonna have Nishka enter uh, stealth mode and detect mode to disarm everything first before we move forward. This place is just a random death trap for some reason. Okay, the skeleton didn't detect us. So this is a unique thing. This these traps actually trigger for the uh, undead that are here. Oh, he got she got spotted. I need Everyone, come shoot. come here. Show them. I need you to cover my so this is an older game, uh, and they haven't figured out the proper conventions for video games yet. So uh, to make everyone stop attacking, I have to give them a follow command. That's V E E. I shall lead the way. And to make them start attacking it, I either have to give them the attack nearest command, VWE, or VWF, which is guard me. It's very, it's very clunky, and I guess it would be weird for modern audiences, but a lot of uh, video games back in the day used a system not unlike this. There we go. I think there's a trap here. Oh, well, he triggered it. Never mind. I guess it makes sense that the traps uh, will hurt the undead. I guess they're there to make sure the undead stay dead. Yes. Oh, I can't use your inventory. Uh, let me see. Yes. I guess I have to uh, shift you back to human. Hmm. All right, let's heal your companion and you. Yes. Yes. All right. Here's another sarcophagus. Detect mode. I guess that's safe enough. Yep. I guess this dun this dungeon actually has some plot relevance. 
Uh, although you don't really understand the significance until much later in the game. Or at least until you... Oh! Kelgar just took 12 acid. Alright, so let's uh, have Kelgar kill everything. I think we've had enough of this one. Okay, moving on. Yes. I guess the main point of this dungeon is just to familiarize the player with the combat mechanics. Disable failure. Got it. So, this, uh, disabling traps in Neverwinter Nights 2 is always risky, unless you have the skill mastery ability for rogues, in which case you can't roll less than 5, I believe. Um, so that dramatically reduces the chances of you having the trap blow up in your face. Okay. Also, the trap DCs in Neverwinter Nights 2 are a lot higher than in the first game. And also, you need at least one rogue level to disarm. Hold on, let me see. DC 20 or greater. In Neverwinter Nights 1, you needed at least one rogue level to disarm traps with a DC of 35 or greater. But here's the catch. In the official campaign and in the expansion, there are no traps with higher than 35 DC. So you don't you didn't actually need any rogue levels to disarm the highest level traps. And since you could take 20 outside of combat, you didn't need that much uh, in disabled device anyway. So you could it would still be a viable skill, even as a cross-class skill. However, you still needed search to be able to detect traps in the first place. And once again, uh, there were no traps with a DC higher than 35, except in mods. So, yeah, <laughs> that restriction was a bit moot in the actual campaign. Oh, enemies. I believe we have enemies. Should probably uh, disable his attack. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> uh, I guess it's disable melee attack and just have him uh, wield his spear. Is there like a... I don't want a puppet mode. Yeah, I guess that's fine. At least he just doesn't attack. I know there's a way to set puppet mode so it follows. But... Uh, I kinda don't feel like fiddling with the AI too much right now. Oops. It's trapped. How can I help? Nishka, I need you to disarm this. Ooh, our buffs are expiring. Oh no. Yeah. Let's go. Take that. The plan is against you. Lol. It just died. Ooh, he's diseased. Show them your steel. Attack. Give me a moment. By the shield. You have any spells? Oh, you still actually have spells left, so we can probably keep going. I need to heal both of them first, and actually, we probably need to rest soon. I shall lead the way. Fall in behind me. Oh, Dale still has most of his spells anyway, so fuck it, let's go. Uh, let's check in here. 
There's enemies there. That's uh, that's fucking spam call lightning. Zap. Got it. I guess I'm gonna rest after this. Everybody, follow me. Oh, there's enemies there. Attack. Come on. Uh fuck it. Let's just summon uh a creature because I'm about to rest anyway. Can't really get to there. It, it's a skeleton anyway. I won't be able to do. I won't be able to do much damage. Okay, we've cleared the area. Cool. Yes. Everyone, come here. Nishka, I need you. Open lock. Okay, let's rest. Yes. While we're doing that, let's queue up our commands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Uh yes. One, two, three, four. A bio nova. A bio nova. Show them your steel! Attack! We're gonna have a boss fight in the next room. Alright, let's do this. Oh look, zombies. Fresh materials to work with. Excellent. Attack my children. Let us add their corpses to our army. Alright, I'm gonna kill you to death. Oh, did I miss? Oh, I am disappointed, son. Oh, he he dead. He he just died. <laughs> that is anticlimactic as hell. All right, so remains. I can't bear this much weight. Ooh, a shield. I'm gonna give that to yes. Eleni. Yes. There. I shall lead the way. Fall in behind me. Oop, I'm still overburdened. Battle axe, because let's have Kelgar. I'll lift that. A headband of intellect. I don't have any characters that need this. Actually, hold How on. Can I help? What skills do you have? Is this able trap int? It is int based. So um I'm actually gonna give that to Nishka. Yes. It's at least a plus one to her disable trap, yes. so it's better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah. Everyone, follow me. Okay, let's. How can I help? Pick this lock. Ooh, a scrap of parchment, ominous foreshadowing. Let's read it. Dot 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 at the edge of the mare. The site has been lightly traveled by, for many decades, visited regularly only by patrols from a nearby garrison. Enough material exists for a small army. It will serve our purposes for now. 
Look at that ominous foreshadowing. It's a miracle you came along. I was certain I'd be joining the corpses down here soon enough. You must be Commander Tan of Fort Locke. Yes, yes I am. Did Lieutenant Vallas send you to find me? He must be gloating right now. He warned me not to send another patrol until we, we received reinforcements from Neverwinter. Uh, Lieutenant Vallas sent me to find out what happened to the patrols. It's a good thing that he did. I have much to report and the men need to be prepared to deal with this new threat. New threat? The necromancer interrogated me thoroughly on the strengths and weaknesses of Fort Locke. Troop numbers, defense strategies, defense strategies, the experience of the men. You must have been planning to, uh, to attack using the undead he was raising. He had enough to defeat the garrison? You have fought through most of his forces to reach me. You know as well as I do, he didn't have the numbers to bring down the fort. Perhaps if he had additional forces coming from the north, say from Highcliff, or shadowing, uh, then he may have had a chance of success. Even then, he would have needed to surprise the fort, which would be unlikely. News of Highcliff falling would spread like wildfire. Fort Lock would be ready. Why would he want to attack the fort? Because Black Garius told him to do so. That's a question I've been trying to answer as well. You've fought through... Okay, you, you already said this. I'm sure the fort would have held. Of that, I'm certain, but that leaves more questions than answers. I've been wondering how this shadow priest planned to take the fort with the undead he had. He just didn't have the numbers. Okay, you're just repeating things. Was the necromancer working alone? He spoke with a, well, a shade of some sort from time to time. I heard a name, Black Garius. Foreshadowing. I gather he's the one giving the orders. Are you able to travel? The shadow that shadow priest tossed me around for a bit, but it wasn't anything serious. I can travel. I was separated from my men as we fought our way in. Some may still be down here. If they're still alive, I won't feel right leaving here. But I also need to return to the fort. I'll leave it up to you. If we return to the fort, I'd appreciate it if you would make a return trip and try to find them. Let's look for your men. How, do you, how many do you think there are? I had three men with me when we, ent when we entered this crypt. I hope they're all still alive. We should get going. The longer we wait, the less likely we are to find any of them alive. Okay, let's pull this lever, which is like very, very obviously placed. And also, time doesn't pause while we're yakking around. Oh, enemies. Uh, I don't think Commander Tan can actually die, so... But I can't control him directly, too. Well, let's have Kelgar kill everything to death. Got him. Alright. Oh, come here. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he went back to my main character. Attack. There, cleave, cleave, cleave. There's Brunile. The youngest son of a wealthy merchant in Neverwinter, Brunil, volunteered for a post in Fort Locke to escape a life of haggling over grain prices. He is one of Commander Tan's newer recruits, and his sense of duty often, often outpaces his competence. Show them your steel. Attack! All right, we're getting good XP here. We're getting uh, close to level six. Commander, you're alive! Thank the gods! I see my training wasn't wasted on you, Brunil. And we can thank our rescuers here for our lives. Uh, can you make it out of here on your own? It shouldn't be a problem. I'm guessing you've already cleared the way for me. I'll report back to the fort right away, Commander. Good to see you alive, sir. Let's keep moving. We still haven't found all of my men. All right, let's backtrack. And uh go here. 
there's like a big trap around the corner. So let's have yes. Nishka detect. Up. Oh. Old position. Stay where you are. Boom. Up. Oh. She managed to disarm it. Nice. Yeah, damage reduction is really a bitch. It prevents characters like rogues, which have very low normal damage from really doing anything. Ugh. Okay, let's backtrack a bit. Yep, I know there's something on the other side of that door. Yep, enemies. There. Helmgar is pretty much doing most of the work here. Alright, got it. Here's another one of his men. He dead. One of Commander Tan's men has met an unfortunate end at the hands of uh, at the hands or claws of the undead. Looks like we got here too late. Losing a man is never easy. We did our best. That we did. At least I know he died fighting, and I can give Garrett here a proper burial. Let's keep moving. We still haven't found all of my men. Okay, there's one more we need to find. And he is stuck behind a bajillion traps. Thankfully, we have Nishka with us. Otherwise, uh, we'd just get killed trying to rescue him. Oh, it's also locked, so we needed her anyway. Open lock. Oop. Did they say bajillion? I guess I just meant two traps. All right, there he is. Blaine. Commander, by the gods, I am I glad to see you. And I, you, Blaine, but thank our rescuer here, not me. I'm just glad you were able to survive. No small feat that still we wouldn't have been around much longer if you... We wouldn't have been around much longer if you hadn't shown up. And I thank you for finding my men for me. It's time we return to the fort. I've got to prepare the men for what we found down here. Continue. Let's read this description. Blaine, one of Commander Tan's best soldiers, Blaine is an aging man of Aluskan descent who has spent decades in the service of Neverwinter's provincial forces. So he's an older uh, soldier. And that is the last person to rescue. Uh, we're going to have a fight after this. Well, actually, no. A potential fight. Uh, so we're going to rest for a bit before we transition. In case my talk no jutsu fails. And I don't have intimidate. Intimidate works a lot better uh, here, but I only have four, so fuck it. I guess we'll uh, make it work. So this is the uh, door. This is the uh, exit. This is what's the locked door from before. It just comes out uh, and gives us convenient access to the exit. World map transition. All right, loading. Commander, it's good to see you alive and well. I'm sure you ha you'll have a report ready once you return to the fort. That I will, Lieutenant. We have much to discuss. Assemble the officers. I'll be with them shortly. You will report directly to me and I shall brief the officers. I'm relieving you of duty. Well, it's gotten into you. I've got. I've given you you your orders. Now carry them out. I am the commander of Fort Lock now, Tan. You will brief me, then return to your quarters, or I will have you arrested for insubordination. The commander has given you your orders, Valis. It is your duty to carry them out. I'm not about to watch the garrison fall apart again because of you, Tan. 
The loss of three patrols was a direct result of your failure to prepare the men properly. You are unfit for command. The men were as prepared as they could possibly be, Lieutenant. If you have an issue, you can bring it up with my superiors. This is not the way to handle it. I've heard enough. Men, arrest him. If he resists, use any force necessary to subdue him. Try to subdue us all you want, but we're striking to kill. Is that so? Well then, I will be sad to report that Tad died while resisting arrest. Oh, it failed. Are you a fool, Vallas? If maybe all you were facing was the commander, the odds might be even. But you're dealing with a harborman soldier, a battle-hardened dwarf of the Iron Fist clan, and a demon with a shorter temper than most. I love how he doesn't mention Elani because the game assumes that uh, we did all the side quests before we re recruited Elani. But instead, I grabbed Elani, then backtracked. And a longer, more attractive tale than most. So before you do something foolish and attack us, I just want you to know it won't be long before we're burying your corpse in the graveyard we just left. You're the fool. These men would gladly die for, uh, would die for me and gladly. Uh, you have much to learn about command, Valas. Leading them, training the men is one thing. Leading them is, in, is something entirely different. Guards, arrest the lieutenant. We'll deal with this back at the fort. You would dare arrest the son of House Anton? You'll regret this, Tan. This isn't over between us. I think it is. And threatening a superior officer? Well, I think you know how well Leverwinter looks upon traitors since the Luskan War, don't you? In the meantime, I'd best get back to the fort. Thank you again for what you've done for me. Hey, we talked the jutsu our, our way out of a fight. Okay, now we're going to go back to Fort Lock. And we're going to deal with the bandits. I think that's the, uh, yep. The bandits and the holy symbol. And while we're here, we're going to sell off our loot. Oh, Valis is dead. He got hung. I've already spoken with Marshal Cormick. The patrols to West Harbor will resume right away. I can't believe Valis allowed security to deteriorate like this. I've also spoken with our smith, Jacoby. He's been given orders to make whatever spare equipment we might have laying around available to you. He'll charge you costs for the items. I wish I could afford to just give them to you, but the money counters back in Neverwinter would have my head for that. So, with that all out of the way, is there anything else I can help you with? How long are you going to leave Valis hanging there? Until I get tired of seeing his swinging corpse, the traitor got better than he deserved with a hanging. I suppose it's rather unnerving to the men, though. Not exactly a pleasant sight, is it? Corporal, cut that filth down and bury him away from the fort, and make sure the, that grave is marked. Yes, sir. We'll take care of it right away. Oh, there we go. His body despawned. Uh, do you have any work for me? We've got a reward for anyone that can put a stop to the bandit attacks on travelers. You can talk to the refugees if you want to know what those bandits have been up to. Wish I could help them, but we don't even know where to start looking for the bandits. Okay. What about sending out patrols? If I knew where their camp was, I would have taken care of them earlier, before we had lost all of those patrols to that necromancer. I'll see what I can do about the bandits. I'd appreciate oh, I'd appreciate it, as well as the refugees here, I'm sure. You should have a talk with them, get the details. Going after bandits would be worth our time and good practice, too. Farewell. Okay, so I think he just told me that Jacoby now has better prices for me. So let's... let's uh, Let's find out. So, Animate Dead is selling, oh, would, would be bought, uh, would, be, would sell for 78 GP uh, at Galen, but with him, it's also 78 GP. I guess it's the same. It doesn't matter. So, fuck it. Sell this. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't really do alchemy. This is an alchemy book. I don't really do alchemy. Honored silver. Yep, that's an alchemy component. This one we can refine once we have uh, once we have someone with alchemy. Leather hide. I guess it's crafting. Yep, it is crafting. Sandrite. Sell these. 
What is this? Cure Light Wounds. Four charges of Cure Light Wounds. So this is like four, uh, four Cure Light Wounds potions. I guess I can use that. Hmm, let's sell that, sell that. Swamp Moss, huh, we have two of these, interesting. Ah, uh, let's... Sword. Yes. See what uh, she has. Yes. Oh, you have a lot more stuff here. And I actually have to transfer this to Dale, because the appraise skill is based on the the active character. Uh, I can't bear this much weight and keep short bow plus one. I suppose I could give that to Nishka, but yeah, I'll give that to Nishka. Dwarven War Axe. Yeah, I guess you can sell that. Kind of inconvenient, but uh, this way I get more money from the merchant. So it's 58, the silver ring is 58 if Kelgar sells yes. it, but if Dale sells it, it's 76. So yeah, we, we get more money this way. Okay. That should be it. I am listening. If How anything, can I help? oh, you have stuff here too. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna sell all this shit. Oh my goodness, I have to do it one by one. Fundamentals of Abjurative uh, Enchantment. I might actually uh, have Eleni get uh, craft magic arms and armor at level 6 instead of natural spell, just so we can craft some things. Hmm. We're going to be recruiting Kara. Um, in Neverwinter anyway, so we'll have someone who can refine uh, enchantments. Yeah, I guess we'll keep that book. Alchemy, it's an alchemy book? Yeah, I don't really do alchemy. much weight and keep up obsidian i guess will well that's only a plus one weapon so let's skip that for now i need at least a plus, actually no hold on so what is it for enchantment plus two a faint earth essence and a diamond yeah i guess we should keep the diamond i shall lead the way in behind me. I'm not sure if I should be, be yes. even crafting. Crafting is hit or miss in this game. Yes. It's hard to find the components. And it's kind of useless me. early in the game, but then it gets a lot better on. Yes. I shall leave uh, Fall in behind me. I could probably just buy this back later. Everybody, if I really me. need a diamond. Okay. I I that's everything. Way. All right, let's fall start selling. Me. Potions I might hang on to because they might be useful. Uh, I can't bear this much weight and keep up. Okay, lots of stuff to sell. I guess I sell that. We don't really need that. Now we have 17,167 uh, GP, so I guess we can buy some nice stuff from him. What do you have? You have Harbinger Kin? Oh yeah, you do. That's a great sword with uh, two fire damage. Actually, let me see, what is Kelgar specialized in? Oh, he doesn't have, he doesn't actually have uh, any weapon specialization. He just has cleave, great cleave. 
So you can actually use any weapon you want. Yes. Kinda wanna buy the uh we see what you have to sell, the robe of energy. It's plus seven concentration. And it makes me immune to magic missile. And it's a magic missile level nine once per day. It's kinda Kind of stupidly overpriced. Nah, we'll save our money for something else. Uh, let me see if uh, Jacoby has some as a magic rapier for Nishka. He does. Cool. Oh, it's much more expensive if Nishka pays for it. Okay, uh, Rapier is a 1d8, uh, 1d6 actually, so it's better than 1d4, but not by much. It's only like an average of one extra damage, so I might hold off on that. What is this? Imaskari Kama, Acid 1d4, eh. Harbinger Kid, this is a pretty powerful one. It's a 2d6. And it's a two-handed weapon. But Kelgar already has the uh, the Bone Phoenix, which is a very powerful weapon. Uh, you have exotic? No, you don't. Yes. You don't have exotic weapon proficiency. Rid of the Vizier. Fear fifty percent. That's actually a powerful effect. Uh, they will eventually fail. Yeah, I don't really need to be wasting my money on anything here. And I, I can just take care of the bandit camp uh, without, without any real weapons anyway. Let's see what he has. Uh, oh, right, Galen. Galen's also a merchant. I, I totally forgot about him. Alright, I'm glad I could help. Show me what you have for sale. Cloak of protection from evil, that's plus two deflection. Bracers of archery. Point blank shot and dexterity plus one. Hmm, exactly pretty nice. Expensive, though. Ring of clear thought. And yeah, nothing really useful. It's kind of sad though, like I have all this money, but I won't really be able to benefit much from it until I'd reach Neverwinter. We are 475 XP away from leveling up. All right, so let's quick save. So we don't lose our progress. And now let's make our way to the bandit camp. I think this is it? Yep, it's it. Okay, so let's cast our spells. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I am listening. Eleni. One, no, no. two, three, four. Fio, no. Fio, no. Fio, no. Fio, no. I believe we have enemies drawing near. Kilkothim Safit. Right, and yeah. we charge in. Be an enemy here. And we kill everyone. Oh, that's the outer wall. There's the inner wall. And we can actually just uh, have uh, Dale attack because these are humans. 
who don't have damage reduction. Oh look, they're making a beeline for me, provoking opportunity attacks from my allies. They all died. Kelgar, do your looting thing. Ooh, acquired item amulet. What is that? Whoa, amulet of natural armor plus one. Yeah, let's give that to Kelgar and make him even more unhittable. 26 AC at level 5. That's freaking ridiculous. Show them your steel! Attack! There's more than a spawn. One more. Level up. Ooh, nice. Let's actually level up right now. Sorcerer. Praise. Concentration. Lore. Spellcraft. I guess we'll save that for next time. Next, need to get empower spell so I can take my first arcane scholar level next next level up. And for this one, I'm actually gonna grab haste. Haste is a very powerful spell. A very powerful and very efficient spell. And sleep, I'm gonna retrain that. Do something else, I guess. Uh, I guess Ray of Enfeeblement will do. That's a very powerful spell with no saving throw. So let's uh, add Ray of Enfeeblement, normal and empowered versions here. It's basically a, uh, a really huge debuff for, uh, for strength-based enemies. And they're all dead. Let's have Kelgar loot everything. We can actually rescue the hostages right now, but it's safer if I uh, if I negotiate with the bandits inside first. So let's do that first. Oh, I forgot about that. I need to level them up. Uh, concentration. I guess. Actually, actually, I can give you alchemy. You can be my crafter. Yeah, I'm going to give you alchemy. I'm going to have you do craft magic arms and armor instead of natural shape. Okay, now you can craft things. Kelgar, you need to level up and taunt and craft. Yeah, that's fine. Taunt and craft weapon are both fine. <sighs> Uh, do I want to give you? <clears throat> Exotic? Maybe? Next. Mm. 
use con instead of wisdom for will. Yeah, this is pretty good for him. That's going to greatly increase his uh, will save. Yeah, let's give him proficiency in exotics. So we can use some of the more exotic weapons. Cool. So now his will save is a lot higher. Yes. Mishka should be level 5 now. I guess I could, yeah, I'm just going to auto-allocate it. Yep. Yes. All right, so. Oh, ah, crap. That's just, uh... I think we've had enough of this one. I think we've had enough of this one. Yeah, let's just start blasting. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be resting soon anyway. Ooh, Kelgar acquired a ring. A ring of fortitude. Yeah, I guess uh Let's give that to Dale, I guess. We're gonna sell that. Ring of Fortitude is provide provides such a small bonus, it's kinda not worth it. It's better we're better off selling it. Quite a lot of the loot you get in this game is kinda useless. It's just useful for selling. Alright, let me rest here. No, there are enemies nearby. Probably go here? Nope, let's go outside first. Okay, yes. let's have Eleni prepare more call lightnings. And actually, I want her to prepare Endure Elements, because we'll be fighting a mage soon. And I guess Cat's Grace. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Rest. As always, let's queue up our, our buffs. One, two, three, four. Yes. Oh, I forgot the magic fang. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. One. Wait, no, no, cancel. Nishka doesn't need it. Because she already has her resistances from her being a uh, a tiefling. Show them your steel. Attack! She has cast mage armor on Nalok. Enemies are near. Now let's do both strength on you two. Actually, I'm curious what bull strength does for uh, for Nalok. I'm gonna look at his stats. Stats. Ah, uh, as I expected, he does have some form of weapon finesse. It just increases his damage, but it doesn't increase his uh, attack bonus. I suppose I could. Uh, oops, I cast Cast Grace on Dale. I guess I'm just gonna cast it on Nishka. Then. I shall lead the way. Fall in All right, me. let's quick save and go in and kill everything. Well, not kill everything. We're going to fight our way to the leader and then talk no jutsu him into joining the garrison. I need you to cover my flank. Of course. Well, minor electrical trap. Nishka disarmed that. Oh, well, damn it! Look who showed up. Hold, Stay Hold position. Up. Everyone gather well, around me so I can haste you. Up. Damn it! 
There. There, attack. Where are you? There you are. I'm gonna magic missile you. Empowered magic missile. You have a robe of fire resistance, so I can't exactly, uh... I can't exactly, uh, blast you with fire. And he's, she's dead. Start blasting these fools. We're, we're not gonna have a lot of enemies after this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And that's it. We got everyone. Oops. Uh, open this. Oh, Kelgar looted it already. All right, Nishka, do your thing. Oh, there's someone there. Yes. LOL. It's locked, and we have to. Un oh, there we go. Who's for a fight? Come on. You know what? Let's just haste them. Again. There. I think there's uh, more here. Nope. Nothing there. I believe that was the last fight of this quest. Yes. All right. So, open the chest. There's Tor's holy symbol. There we go. I shall lead the we way. got the holy Hold symbol. You found Tor's holy symbol. Return it to him at fourth lock. Okay. So now we're gonna go forward, and we need to choose our dialogue carefully to be able to top the jutsu our way out of this. Tech mode. Oh shit. Yes. Alright. Quick save. Let's fucking go. So you finally made it here. Any reason you decided to come tearing it through my camp? Hmm. I came to free the prisoners in your camp. You could have just asked. I was certainly willing to negotiate. And you just you just let them go. You've already, you've already destroyed my camp. Any gold I would have gotten from the prisoners would have to go to repairs anyhow. The way I see it, things will go a lot easier if I just free them all. Now I want you to promise to stop kidnapping any more people for ransom. What? Are they your relatives or something? Fine, if that's what it takes. Me and my men promise to leave any kidnappings to someone else. Satisfied? Uh, you owe me one for this. I'll let you live. I hear you, I'm no fool, I'm not crossing you again. Okay, ah, uh, that's weird. No, that's not the right option. I think it's, uh, put a stop to the raid. It's kind of stupid, though, because, uh, in character, I would care more about the prisoners than his raids. So, it doesn't give me an option. It actually locks you out of certain options, but I guess that's just never Winter Nights 2 for you. That's, this is just one of many things. Uh, wrong with the game. All right, uh, stopped your raids. Uh, surrender to the soldiers of Fourth Lock, and I'm sure you'll be dealt with fairly. Ha! And maybe they'll cook us a nice meal and give us warm beds too, right before they gut us. I'd let you go, but how do I know you wouldn't get a new band and just start raiding again? You don't. I could try to convince you I've learned my lesson, but I don't think you'd listen. Besides, it doesn't matter. Even if we packed up what remains of this camp, another group would just take our place anyway. You see, in case you haven't noticed, the roads aren't exactly crawling with troops these days. It's every man for himself. Ah, there we go. Fourth lock is short of men. I'm sure they pay well for new recruits to patrol the roads. 
me playing a guard <laughs> that military the military couldn't pay nearly as well as what I make from raids hmm any man who can recruit and lead men deserves an officer's rank and pay ha more likely we'd be s oh wow I just barely failed the check ha more likely we'd be swinging from the rope as soon as we stop set foot inside the fort okay so I at least know the path so I can just reload this bullshit I hate this I guess there's a reason why in uh, newer video games or even newer modules they just check if your skill is at a certain level instead of making you roll so you don't have to save scum like that like I'm doing all right stop your raids surrender let you go uh, short of man. Ah! Oh. Alright, let's try again. I hate this. So I only have a 45% chance of passing. So after enough saving and reloading, I should be able to talk the jutsu to this motherfucker. Hmm. Quick, quick. There we go. Uh, the commander of Fort Lock. Uh, hmm, what makes you think they won't just fit our ne next for our news? The commander of Fort Lock owes me a favor. I'll put in a good word. Hmm, honest work will take some getting used to. Still, I am getting tired of being on the run all the time and watching my back, as are my men, I'm sure. If you haven't freed the prisoners up top already, I'll let them go. Might warm up this commander of yours. Now I think you know the way out, and I've got to do a lot before we present ourselves to the fourth commander. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yep. How can I help? It's kind of funny. I think the first time I played this, I, ac I accidentally got that option without trying. So, wow, we resolved this peacefully, sort of. And I'm pretty sure I would have gotten more XP and loot for killing them all anyway, which is kind of silly, but whatever. And it, w it would have taken less time than all the reloading I had to do. So, eh, whatever. Alright, more stuff to sell. And we did it in just an hour. It's just 10 o'clock right now. I have an hour more to go before I have to start getting ready for yes. work. So nice. Yes. We made good time. I need you to cover my flank. All right. I have to issue a, a guard me command to get them to follow me. Right. So let's get out of here. I wonder if the if the thieves here are still hostile. I haven't checked this room yet. Yeah, they are. They didn't despawn. Yep. Let's just have him switch to melee so he doesn't uh, attack. Okay, uh, that's it. We did it. arm there now we can go out and after this is high cliff where we will be treated to an unskippable cutscene of a ship sinking All right, let's free the captives. I don't know how you managed to slip through the camp, but we'd best be getting out of here. Don't worry about it. I've already arranged for your freedom. They agreed to let us go? Did our families manage to come up with a ransom money? 
No, the bandit leader just needed some convincing. I won't ask how you managed it, but you have our thanks. This certainly isn't something we expected. Your families are waiting for you at Fort Lock. Thank the gods. We feared they'd suffered worse fates than ours. I'll lead the rest back to the fort. I don't know why you did all of this, but it's certainly appreciated. And we getting paid leave to do this. the bandits change their minds. Thank you again. We did it, Reddit. We did it. You escaped the bandit camp and all the prisoners still alive. Return to Fort Lock and speak with Lisa. Also, I convinced the bandit chief to volunteer the services of his men to bolster the garrison at Fort Lock. Commander Tan's reaction will be interesting. Return to Fort Lock. There, they're despawning. You have a uh, description? The, the refugees wore clothing and haggard appearance. Suggests a hard life. Okay, just a generic refugee. Uh, uh, description. Okay, let's get out of here. That wasn't the area's transition. That was just their despawn point. Here is the world map transition. And... Let's actually rest first. Nice. Cool. Let's go back to Fort Lock. All right. Let's talk to the cleric. It's it is good to see that you are well. Elmater watches over you. I return with your holy symbol. You, you have it. I'm grateful, but I must ask how you managed this. Should I be expecting more trouble from the bandits soon? I was able to convince the, their chieftain to work with the local garrison to help patrol the roads. Travelers should be safe now. You are a remarkable individual. I am sorry that I doubted your integrity. Farewell. 200 uh, XP. Let's talk to the refugees. Here we go. Need to be the leader. Looking distinguished in her patchwork clothes and disintegrating shoes, this aging woman stands tall in a room full of broken spirits and huddled postures. Thank you so much for what you have done. The prisoners that you freed from the bandit camp have been trickling in and many have, re have reunited with their families. And I understand it was a most dramatic rescue as well. You have more than earned our gratitude. Here, take this. It's the gold we had pooled together in the hopes of paying off the ransom. Take it with our thanks. I'm glad I could help. Oh, may her bless you. May your travels be safe and fruitful. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe I just saw my husband pass through the front gates, the fort gates. So, 250 GP and 250 XP. Not bad. Now, let's talk to Commander Tan. You've been busy, haven't you? I take it I have you to thank for the rabble that I've got as new soldiers now. Maybe. Why? <laughs> Don't worry about it. In fact, I was going to thank you. Things have gone surprisingly well with those rogues. They all know the basics about fighting already, though their styles are questionable at times. Guess that comes from their previous line of work. To be honest, I thought I'd been gift-wrapped a present from the Neverwinter Great Cloaks. I was ready to hang them all until the leader mentioned you. I'm glad you stayed your hand. Me too. Their leader is going to turn out to be an excellent second in command. He's got a good head on his shoulders, and my men immediately took to him. Some glamour comes with being a bandit chieftain, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Did I just give Commander Irwin uh, Levi Ackerman as his second in command? I just did. Heck yeah. Some glamour comes with being a bandit chieftain, I suppose. How did you ever convince them to give up their training ways? I saves come. I have no idea. <laughs> well, whatever the reason, I thank you. Neverwinter has been slow to respond to my requests for reinforcements. I must have really gotten on someone's nerves with the Valus incident. Anyhow, I've started to organize fresh patrols along the roads again. Your bandit friends know the area quite well, as you can imagine. They know of routes I don't even know about, and I have been posted here for half my life. Of course, they had good reason to look for those routes before the patrols stopped. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was able to help. Here's the reward for dealing with the scoundrels. You certainly earned this one. 500 GP. But enough of my talking. Is there anything I can do for you? This garrison seems to attract a lot of attention. 
That it does. Fort Locke's seen plenty of battles, not a surprise since we're guarding the only road in and out of the mare. Still, the walls have stood up to everything, even that bloody affair against some self-proclaimed king of shadows. Foreshadowing! I wasn't around for that one, but I hear that's the closest Fort Locke's ever come to falling. These walls weren't built to stop demons after all. Still, she held up. That's why I don't understand what the necromancer was up to. What can you tell me about the King of Shadows, the final boss of this game? Garrison lore has it that he was some sort of warlock leading a pack of demons. This is actually Amon Jero, who is getting confused for the King of Shadows. The story goes that Neverwinter finally cornered him at West Harbor and killed him along with most of the village. The surviving demons fled north to this fort and tried to take it. The garrison held and the demons were hunted down. Glad I wasn't there for that. The lore makes it sound like a bloodbath. Farewell. Okay, Galen and I think Cormac. Commander Tan is back, Valis is taken care of, and it looks like the patrols will be starting again soon. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, a reward would be nice. The watch is always ready to reward those who aid us. I don't have much gold on me, but you're welcome to do. Uh, you're welcome to what I do have. You seem, you seem to have a knack for solving problems. I could use someone like you. I can reward you properly for this back in the city. It shouldn't be any trouble convincing Captain Berlena that you deserve a little something for helping me out. Stop by the city guard barracks if you find yourself looking for work in Neverwinter. As for me, I'd best get moving. I've already spent too much time here. Okay, let's sell off our shit. Show me what you have. Amulet of Undead Turning. Uh, we don't have any clerics, so let's sell that. Sell this, sell this. Sell this other spear. Okay, yes. now let's pass on... Oh, Wand of Lightning should go to Dale. I think this is a Robe of Fire Resistance. I'm gonna pass all this loot to him. Let's give these arrows to Nishka, in case she needs she needs to yes. make uh, ranged attacks. Yes. Oh, goodness, you have more stuff on you. Uh, I can't bear this much weight and keep Oh look, uh, Tor didn't grab his holy symbol, or rather it wasn't taken from our inventory. That is a bug which will probably never be fixed because this game is very old. Like 15 years old at this point. It was released in 2006, if I recall correctly. All right. Fundamentals of Abjurative Enchantment. Yeah, let's give that to Eleni. The bolts yes. will give to Dale. All right, let's start selling shit again. I can't bear this much weight and keep up. Robe of Fire Resistance. It's actually better than my Sorcerer's Robe. It looks silly though. It looks like a robe, uh, and, and, uh, a Lathanderite Priest Robe, but whatever. They didn't really have a lot of models for robes in this game. This is 0 GP, but it's 10 pounds. We're gonna drop this. There. Oh! Kelgar just picked it up! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to stash it somewhere so he doesn't automatically pick it up. Alright, so we see where we're headed next. We went the wrong way. We are now headed to Highcliff because we now, uh, we basically... Wizard's Arsenal. Tarmus told you to enter his home, located to the immediate southwest of the bridge, and search for anything that might help against the village invaders. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go back to West Harbor. Let's go to Tarmus's house. Just to finish off that quest. Not, I don't think it'll have anything anyway. Tarmus's house. All right, here we go.
There. Uh, where's this? Interesting. That's an interesting. Uh, oh, ow. How can I help? Okay, so he did have something. I did forget to do this last time. Crafts works of Evermeet. What is that? Cloak of Elvenkind, ooh, Boost of Agility, Ring of Wizardry. Alright, so we did, uh... Yes. I shall lead the there was uh, something there. Let's actually sell some shit to him. This incursion is the most noteworthy event that oh. All right, so yes. Let's pass all the items to uh, Dale. I shall lead the way. Fall in behind me. Ah, okay. Also, I just remembered since we gave Eleni uh. Alchemy, I should be giving her speak. this. So, is that nine? Or, yeah, it is nine. So, now we're going to give her all of the crafting components. Everyone, follow me. All right, so how much? Alchemy 4, Alchemy 6, Alchemy 6, 4, and 4. How much alchemy do you have? Alchemy 6. Okay, you can refine all of them. There. While you're doing that, I'm going to sort through my inventory. Yes. We got everything. Oh, there's one more. Ghoul Claws. There. <sighs> One more. There, we have essences now. I shall lead the way. Let's get out of here. They don't have anything new for me to say because the game uh, doesn't. The game doesn't take into account that you would actually backtrack and go back to this place. Where's my melee? Oh, did they accidentally sell my melee weapon? Whoops. Yes. Yes. Whatever. Yes. You shouldn't be attacking anyway. All right, let's go to High Cliff. Oh, there's a boat there. You're risking also, your entire me. ship by going out there, Captain. Ignore me if you will, but at least listen to your own men. We're leaving port right now. Nothing's stopping this shipment to Neverwinter, especially not a pack of lizard folk. What are you lot just standing there for? Bring up the sails! And click. the oars! The fool is risking a ship worth ten times the cargo he's carrying. And for what? For the sake of a few extra gold for an early delivery. Tailing the seas is always risky. Aye, but he's trying to set sail when we've got lizard folk going out of their way to sink every boat coming out of this village. The good captain is a fool to think he can sail out without drawing the attention of the lizards. Harbor Master, out there! Looks like the lizard folk have themselves another victim! Yay, inconsistent voice acting. I love how they have, like, random accents. I guess that would make sense in the Forgotten Realms, where, like, there are people from all over. And I think we've all learned a lesson here. If I say it's too dangerous to sail, it's too dangerous to sail. So basically, the lizard folk are blockading high 
Let's just hope the lizard folk let them swim ashore. Sorry, but I've got my hands full here. Some of the other sailors should be able to fill you in. Basically, there's a blockade. A na uh, the lizard folk have a blockade around High Cliff. They're all injured. Cough, cough. My greetings to you. My greetings to you. Uh, talk to the village elder if you've got questions. I've got work to do. Here's an interesting fellow, Grishna. I have no idea what the fuck this guy is all about. This, uh, the hulking physique's uh, massive skull and savage tooth structure mark this man as orc blooded. He's just, uh, he's just here. You're a strange looking group, what do you want? We're looking for a ship that will take us to Neverwinter. You and half the town, you ain't heard then. No ships in Neverwinter. Hells, no ships in and out of High Cliff till they put a stop to the lizard folks and they're sabotaging. I just stand and watch while the men try to repair the double eagle again. We tossed nets down to the water last time, hoping to catch some of the lizards. It didn't work. Those lizards just cut their way through the nets and damaged the ship anyhow. Clever beasties, I'll give them that. I'll pay you well. I really need to get to Neverwinter. You don't listen so good, do ya? Railroading. No ships in or out of High Cliff. Not that there's any that can do more than float right now. You're just gonna have to get used to being stuck here with the rest of us. Besides, it wouldn't be my decision anyhow. You gotta talk to the captain if you want to passage in the Double Eagle. Okay. I'll be going now. You don't really have any useful information for me. I guess he's a crew member of the person we were supposed to hire. Alright, so we're gonna encounter a fight very early on uh, when we arrive at Highcliff, thanks to Kelgar Iron Fist. And here we go. I suppose I could avoid this fight by just uh, going around them, but fuck it, let's trigger it. Well now, what's all this? A traveling circus? Easy. One of them's a harborman. Harborman? Like I care what a swamp farmer can do. Seems to me there's the makings of a joke in you four. A dwarf, tree worshipper, demon, and a swamp smelling harborman walk into a tavern. Well now, we may have walked in, but it seems to me someone's about to go flying out. Uh, uh we're not here for a fight. We're not? Did you hear what he called you? He might as well have asked us to break his legs right then. Our leader's right. We don't need the attention a fight will bring, and there's no reason to fight at all. No reason to fight? Are you mad? Of course there is. Aye, of course there is. The dwarf has it right. You be quiet. Agree with me again, and I'll knock your teeth out. All right, all right. I'm just saying I agree. That does it. I warned you once. Now you're going to get it. How often does this happen? Trust me, things were slowing down a bit before we came here. Now it's about back to normal. Okay, let's fucking kill everyone. Haste. Now then, that was a fine bit of sport, wasn't it? Uh, we didn't need to fight at all, but you went ahead anyway. Well now, don't get all upset, all in good fun, you know. No harm done except to some legs and knees and heads. And we actually killed them. We didn't need to fight, Kelgar. Next time rain it in, it's hard to steal from someone when they think you're going to attack them. If we're done making more enemies, let's move on. Moving on is a sound plan. Fine, I say we try to find another tavern. There's bound to be more drunks needing a punch or two. Okay, before we continue... Huh, why are you, like, offset? You should be over there. Welcome to Branson's. If you thought you'd shop at the best, you haven't been to Branson's yet. <laughs> My apologies. I'm just trying out a new slogan. What do you think? I like it. Uh, why, thank you. Came up with it myself, too. Say, you're not dressed like the other sailors rampaging, rampaging about town. It seems Highcliff has become quite a hub of activities ever since patrols along the high road became scarce. It's a good time for business, I tell you. You'll find that I have a pretty nice stock of goods here. With all the travelers coming in, I've managed to get my hands on some real bargains. What do you have for sale? Ah, you won't be disappointed. Have a look for yourself. Okay, we're going to have a swashbuckler's hat for plus two diplomacy. Let's buy that. Wizard's hat is plus two concentration. Concentration. Uh, I guess we can give the 
skull cap to yes. Eleni for her concentration skill. Yes. What weapons do you have? Ooh, wow. You have a plus two dwarven war axe. Hierarch's blade. Attack bonus versus outsider. Not that we're gonna find a an outsider. Sentinel plus one. Nope. Ravager plus one. Nope. I'm tempted to buy this for Kelgar. It's a plus two dwarven war axe. Uh, what is this? Oop! Cancel, cancel. Shit. Examine. Immunity to disease and poison. That's decent, I suppose. Yeah. Nothing really useful there. However, we can buy some armor from this guy, Idario. Rarely lifting his eyes up from his work or the floor, this man makes no attempt to hide his shy nature. His lips are constantly animating half-vocalized words, and you suspect he's not antisocial, but rather too satisfied with his own craft to waste time interacting with others. Well met, I'm Adario. If you need uh, armor, please let me know. I'm the only armor in Highcliff, so if you be needing anything, there's nowhere else to go. You don't sound too happy about that. Isn't lack of competition a good thing? I guess, but there really isn't much call for my work in a small town like this. Why don't you go to a bigger city then? I need someone to work for first. In a big city, it would be hard to compete with all the other armorers who already have steady customers. I'd like to see your wares. So yeah, I can recruit him later on when I have uh, when I have my own port. I am listening. So yes. yeah, I'm gonna buy a breastplate for Eleni. Yes, breastplate plus one. Yeah. Uh, I can't bear this I am listening. And keep up. There. That bumps her up to 22, yes. 22 AC, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty sure I can get a magic scimitar uh, in one of the uh, one of the quests here up north. Actually, let's do that now. Let's go side questing. There's a side quest here we can do. R, this frazzled looking man seems to be very concerned about the house in front of him. You there, a little help please. What seems to be the problem? There are noises coming from inside my house. It must be thieves. I'll, I'll go have a look. Thank you. My home is the one right in front of me. I, oh, and do be careful, will you? There's lots of There's a lot of fragile and valuable things in there. All right, let's uh, let's fucking go. All right, so now let's uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I guess let's put call lightning here. What level is Greater Magic? Oh, Greater Magic Fang is level 3. I could have uh, had this instead of... Uh, yeah, I'll do that next time. Yes. All right, so let's fucking go. All right, yes. All of you move yes. here. Follow me. I yes. can cast haste on you. All right, let's go. Quiet, you fools! You've been making too much noise. Shove off, Dulehi. Don't recall no one putting you in charge here. Shove off? Shove off taste my steel, dog. I'm afraid of blasts and militia. We're hanged men for sure. Stand and fight, cowards. We kill them quick and dump them in the sea. No one the wiser. Okay, I guess we killed them all. I can just keep... I can actually just freely blast them all here because, uh... I can just rest afterwards anyway. 
Blame me for blame. I lay me for frame. I lay me for frame. Oh, it's the last one. He dead. Alright, we killed them all. We can actually like, like loot everything here without it affecting the quest. Uh, they yes. didn't really the uh game didn't doesn't check whether you robbed the guy anyway so fuck it let's do that there's some nice loot here alchemical silver seven silver scimitar okay so it wasn't a magical scimitar i was wrong it's a silver one not that it's going to be useful, but I guess it is something. 1d6 compared to 1d... Yeah. Oh yeah, she's an elf. She can use a longsword. I can buy her a nice longsword. Although, I don't know if I should be doing that, because she can just wild shape into, uh, into a nice, uh, powerful form anyway, like a bear. Alright, what is this? It is a ring of resistance. Okay, I guess we're gonna wear that. Oh, it gives me light too. Not that lighting is a problem in Neverwinter Nights 2. It used to be an issue back in uh, Neverwinter Nights 1 where you actually needed to cast the light spell in certain dark areas. But in this game, there aren't really any areas dark enough for you to need a light spell in. So it's not a big deal. I thought I heard fighting in there, and is that blood on you? There were sailors looting your house. They weren't in the mood to surrender. I see. All of you did a thorough job of destroying my home, no doubt. Here, take this batch of potions for your efforts. Now I'd better get inside and see just how bad things are. Okay, 200 XP and some potions. Nice. And we got a nice silver scimitar for Eleni. Captain Flynn. This is the captain... If you don't mind, I'm trying to drown my sorrows here. Are you the captain of the Double Eagle? Captain of a ship that can't sail, that's me. Here to rub salt in my wounds, are you? My father, Dagon, said you could help me get to Neverwinter. Dagon, eh? Still playing farmer in that swamp village, is he? I'd be happy to grant you passage, but as you can see, we're all stuck here for now. No ships in or out of Highcliff on account of the attacks, which means I've got a shipload of cargo rotting at the docks until this mess is sorted out. And let me tell you, there's merchants in Neverwinter who have me hanging from the gallows if I can't get my cargo there and soon. Uh, how do you know my father? Dagon and I adventured together for a while, you know, crawling around in dark tunnels, getting clawed and bitten just for a bit of gold. He was good to have around, kept calm under the worst conditions, and always had your back in a fight. Thing is, we both got tired of being punctured by nasties trying to keep us out of their lairs. I had enough gold saved up and got into the shipping business. Sounds like my father led an exciting life. Sure, if you like getting poked, stabbed, and shot at. I've had my fill of running for my life. Now I get stuck in a village like everyone else. Who's responsible for the attacks? It's the lizard folk. I already know this. I've played this game numerous times. Uh, lizard folk. What, uh, what in the hells they're doing this far north is beyond me, but they're certainly causing enough trouble. They're getting displaced by the King of Shadows taking over the land. Spoiler. No one's got the nerve to go after them, though. I, I can't say I blame them either. Uh, farewell. He doesn't really have any useful information, so let's just go and talk to the Elder. Oh, there's an angry woman yelling at the Elder. This middle-aged woman looks like she hasn't had a full night's sleep in over a year. You instantly deduce that she's the parent of a small child. Ah. This, this aging patriarch of Highcliff takes in uh, laboring breaths as he ponders the fate of Highcliff. The town's safety constantly weighs on Maine such that his back and head perpetually ache from the burden. Junie, please, I'm doing the best I can. We can't risk exploring the ruins at this time. But where else... Could William have gone, Elder? You must do something. 
And what would you have me do, Junie, sacrifice the entire village's safety just for your husband? Who will be to blame if William comes to any harm, Elder? I will not have my child growing up without her father. I understand her anger. It would be tragic if William were hurt or worse. But she must understand I have to put the safety of the village first. You're right. You can't go rushing in if you don't know what you're facing. Yes, unfortunately in her grief, Junie isn't thinking very clearly right now. I do wish there was something I could do, but not before we have more information. I don't remember you from the Double Eagle. I am Maine, village elder of Highcliff. I wish you had visited us under better circumstances. Um, I want to talk to you about gaining passage on the ship to Neverwinter. I could ask her him this, but uh, role playing wise, I don't. I, it's none of my business. Sadly, that is impossible right now. Every one of our ships has been damaged. None are safe for sea travel at the moment. Each time we've made repairs, the lizard folk promptly damaged the ships again. Trade with Neverwinter has stopped, and without trade, this village will not have an easy winter. Uh, what's this, what does this have to do with Juni? I suspect that William's disappearance has something to do with the lizards, but without knowing for certain, I can't ask anyone to risk their lives. So the only way I'm going to be able to find a ship is to help you with this. You certainly travel with interesting companions, so I suspect you are quite capable of handling yourself. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I think we've just been insulted. Just take it as a compliment, you two. I did not mean it as an insult. In fact, I assume that you are all quite remarkable individuals to be able to get past the typical prejudices and band together. Oh, well, that's alright then. So you won't object if you look into things. You, if you are certain about this, then I have no objection. I think it's safe to say that everyone in Highcliff would be very grateful if you could resolve things for us. Where should I start looking? The lizard folk have been concentrating their attacks on the farms outside the village, and the only farmer left is Chandra. She's too stubborn to leave her home, even with the attacks. You could start your search with her. She may know something that could help, or you could simply wait there and ambush the lizard folk should they attack. Allow me to mark the location of her farm on your map. Yeah, let's mark it on my map. Like an RPG NPC. I wish you luck on your travels and look forward to seeing all of you again. Okay, before we leave Highcliff, let's talk to this lady to get her quest. Because I sometimes forget to click on her and that causes her husband to not spawn. Ooh, cat meow. You were the one speaking with the Elder. Did he turn his back to your pleas as well? Actually, he seemed quite reasonable. Reasonable? My husband is missing and he refuses to send out the search party. How is that reasonable? Uh, is there some way I could help? You'd be willing to take a risk for a complete stranger? I will. This is a surprise. Um, is there anything else you can tell me that might help? The villagers that left their farm say they were driven out by something destroying their crops and damaging their homes. The farmers were never attacked, it's just been sabotaged, like with the ships. Probably lizard folk, but you never know. You may want to speak with that girl, Chandra. She's refused to give up her farm to those lizard folks, so she may have seen him if he went outside the village. William's Fate Judy's husband, William, was last seen heading for the old Highcliff Castle ruins when he disappeared. Yep, that's where he'll be. I don't think I have enough time to finish all the Highcliff quests, though. It's 10.35, I only have 25 minutes left, and since I'm not skipping any dialogue, it's gonna take a while. Moza. So, you're the new arrivals I heard about. You're adventurous, I take it. Uh, what makes you think so? You have the look about you. Grace, power, confidence, hero qualities, you know. But enough of that. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me out with a small problem. What is it that you need? I was hired by a group of adventurers to show them the area around Highcliff, help them get their bearings as it were. It was a bit dangerous, but they offered more gold than I'd see in 10 seasons working the fields and have been stupid to say no. I hope you were paid in advance. My employers only paid me half of what they owed me before they went off to explore some ruined castle north of here. They promised the rest when they got back. That was over a week ago. Since you were adventurers, I was hoping you might be willing to go out and find them for me. Ah, uh, I'll let you know if I find them. My thanks, I'll be waiting here for your return. So, I think our, our next stop will be Chandra's farm. Yep, 
Chandra, as in Chandra Jero. Hmm. Looks like this is the place. But where's... Who are you? Did Maine send you? Whoever you are, you don't look much like a farmer to me. Any reason why you're gracing me with your presence? Is there a reason he should? You don't look worth it. Nishka. Well, it's just the truth. And she asked. Maybe you all better tell me what you're doing here. There's been too many visitors lately, and I really don't have the patience for it anymore. Uh, the Elder asked us to come here to track down the lizard folk. Good. Glad to see the Elder finally got wise enough to protect the grain shipments into High Cliff before winter hits. I've been alone out here ever since the others abandoned their farms and took shelter in High Cliff, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. The lighting on her skin is funky. I think it has something to do with me turning off most of the shadows to uh, improve performance. It's brave of you to, to stay and protect your home. I don't know about that. I'm braver than she is. You think I'm brave to stay here? Foolish is more like it. I'm supposed to be making the merchant run through Port Last and Ember right now. But with the recent troubles, I can't leave the oh. farm. Port Last and Ember. Foreshadowing. We'll be visiting both of those uh, towns uh, later on in the game. Let alone take the trade road from Highcliff. I can't even move my harvest into town. And if I can't sell it, I won't make it through the year. Not to mention the <sighs> coming on the trade. <sighs> I have Stretch. friends in Ember and Port Last expecting shipments this season. <sighs> you say the merchant road out of Highcliff is blocked the once ever winter. It's worse than that. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It happens so suddenly and quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village, and even as far south as Fort Locke, is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve, or worse. Uh, have you been attacked? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. No one's been killed, luckily enough. Mostly buildings and houses have been burned, but no deaths. That's strange. I would have thought the lizard folk would have tried to kill the farmers first. They tend to, um, eat people, <laughs> from what I've heard. I agree. It is unusual, but the lizard folk may be afraid to push Highcliff too far. Too far? After all this? Don't know how much farther these people can be pushed? Shedding the blood of another tribe is different in lizard folk culture, while destroying objects and homes is more, well, territorial is the best way to put it. Well... No one's been killed yet that I've seen. Just a lot of farms burned and grain destroyed or stolen. Okay, uh, you see the merchant road out of Highcliff is blocked. It's worse than that. I don't know if it's more lizard folk, but no one's come back along that road for a while now. Merchants who take it just vanish, wagons and all. It happens so suddenly and quietly, and the bodies are never found. If you take the road, it's the last journey you'll make. The whole village... And even as far south as Fort Locke is being cut off. If it keeps up, we'll starve. Or worse. Okay, uh, how many farms have been lost? There were a few early on, but none lately. Most of the farms have been abandoned before the lizard folk attack. No one wants to be there when they strike. When did these attacks begin? A few months back. I don't know where they've all come from, but suddenly they're swarming all over the place. A few months ago? These tribes may have been driven here from the main. Ooh, foreshadowing. Yep, you're totally right, Eleni. Uh, do you know where the lizard folk are striking from? No, but it must be someplace close by. At first, I thought their lair would be close to the water, but now, now I'm not so sure, and I wonder if they've set up a camp just for attacking the outlying farms. I doubt it's their main lair. It's too far from water. But I've seen fires up at the old ruins. It's only been in the past few days, though, which is strange since the lizard folk were attacking long before that. It's like something's going on up there. I haven't been able to leave the farm long enough to tell anyone. I guess I was counting on the elder to actually send help. What ruins are you talking about? The ruins up there are of Highcliff Castle, destroyed in a war some time ago. Lots of magic was thrown around, even talk that demons and devils were summoned and fought each other. I thought I felt something. 
It's in the ground beneath my feet. Traces of it, anyway. There's lots from the war still buried around here. Some farmers can't take a plow to some fields without turning over an old weapon or two. But that's not what has me worried. You said that the lizard folk are at the ruins. It could cause trouble for you and the lizard folk? Well, yes. I suspect there's a reason that place was never rebuilt. It's always had a strange history. Everyone in Highcliff knows to leave it alone. And there's more than lizard folk troubles nowadays. At least from the tales coming from the Southern Road, don't know if you've heard. There's been sightings of forms walking in graveyards, strange shadows. Some of it could be just local drunks talking, sure, but I've heard tales from merchants as far south as Fort Locke. Are there any graveyards around here? Plenty, but no marked ones. So many battles were fought here. If the dead decided to walk, there'd be an army in no time. That huge gravesite near Fort Locke? That's one of the smaller ones from the war. Uh, have you been to the castle recently? Not for years. Some of the children from the village said there's tunnels beneath the keep. You can find an entrance near one of the ruined towers. But aside from seeing the fires up there, I haven't wanted to risk leaving the farm long enough to investigate. We're looking for a man, Junie's husband. Have you seen him? William? Actually, yes, I did. And he didn't stop when I called to him. He looked frightened. Kept looking back as he ran. I just thought Junie had sent him on some errand. She pushes him a little hard sometimes, but he lets it happen, so I don't have much sympathy. Hmm. Anything else you can tell us about the area? Not much more to tell, but if you want to help, let me just mark the ruins on your map. Why do you have that strange look on your face? Oh, you just paralyzed us with the cutscene. I just saw some lizard folk running through your crops. What? Where did they come from? My barn! And the harvest! I let down my guard for a second and they were waiting for it. Waiting until I got distracted. Look, you're not safe here. You should head to Highcliff. And I'll be safe in Highcliff? Where no ship can leave because the lizard folk are destroying them? This... this farm is all I have. And now that my harvest is gone and with winter coming... Look, if you're going to help, do it. I'm so tired of Neverwinter and Fort Locke and the Militia and the Elder and- I love how we're just talking while her farm burns. You know, we could actually try to put, put out the fire, but she's trapping us in a dialogue. All of them promising to help us out and nothing ever happening. Just once. Just this once. If you can actually do something for Highcliff, for the farmers here, it'd be long past due. All right. So, uh, let's examine her. Chandra Jero. Oh, look at that. Foreshadowing. And this one, this scarecrow here, that's uh, where we'll find, I think, the Staff of the Magi later on in the game. Heck yeah, foreshadowing. I just remembered something. There's another side quest I needed to trigger in, uh, in Highcliff. It's with Gira and her husband. It's, uh, their kids are missing. They basically ran off into to Highcliff Castle. So let's go back to Highcliff first before we go to the castle. I'm not sure I will have time to go to the castle anyway. Well, I'll be able to uh, do some uh, initial quests uh, in Highcliff Castle, but I have to get ready soon uh, for work. Let me see. Where are they? I think they're over there. Ah, there they are. Found them. Uh, Zakan and Gira, or Jera, or however you pronounce her name. And she doesn't have any voice acting. Uh, I don't really know. I need you to cover my flank. Okay, I need to take her out of the tech mode so she can run yes. to me. I need you to cover my flank. Guard me. Of course. There we go. Eh, sorry, I usually let my wife Gera do all the talking. Kira, look who it is. Ilmater has answered our prayers. You probably don't remember me. You saved my life back at the Weeping Willow. Well met, it's good to see you again. We don't wish to impose, but we could use your help again. We, we still have some money. I'm listening. Two days ago, our son Andrew ran off to the old Highcliff Castle Woods with one of his friends. 
They were forbidden to leave the village, but they slipped away without us noticing. It is hard to keep an eye on them all the time with all the troubles about. I see, and they haven't returned? No, it's been days. We asked the village elder to send some men to look for them, but he refuses to risk anyone searching for them while Highcliff is in danger. With Judy's husband disappearing up at the ruins as well, the elder has become too cautious. We have been hoping another such as you would be able to help us. Uh, I'll look for them. I'm sure they're, they're fine. Oh, thank you. We were both so worried. With the attacks on our ships and William disappearing, we've been at wit's end. Anything could have happened to those boys. Uh, if I find anything, I'll let you know. Why are we wasting our time looking for two kids? We have more important things to do. Then it's a good thing you're not making the decision, isn't it, Tiefling? Don't start with me again, Dwarf. I know this isn't our problem, but I have to help if I can. Fine, fine. If you want to waste your time, then so will I, even if I think it's a dumb idea. I, for one, approve. The mare is not an easy place for children, and I suspect the wilds of Highcliffe are no better. I just hope there's some gold in this for us. My purse isn't as full as I'd like it to be. Okay, cool. There should be an area transition. Yep, there's an area transition here. Alright, let's go to Highcliff Castle. I only have 12 minutes left, so I should only... I'll probably be able to uh, rescue the kids and then uh, talk to the husbando. Okay, let's start our buffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. One, two... Three, four, and bull strength on you, cat's grace on you. You see, how much does your... Yep, Nalok does have weapon finesse. Alright, let's go. I think the husband is around here. It'll kind of cut into our buff time, but whatever. That's actually someone my familiar. Or more diplomacy. Our diplomacy is now 13 with Ambassador uh, summoned. Who are you? How did you find me? Are you William? Juni sent you, didn't she? I should have known she wouldn't give up easily. But I'm not going back. I have made my decision. This clearing will serve just as well as Highcliffe for a home. Why are you out here? Juni's worried. I just couldn't take it anymore. The farming, the child, never any time to myself. She wouldn't even let me spend a few evenings in the Blue Rooster. I decided to start a new life elsewhere. For now, this clearing will do. Tell Juni you found me dead, killed by bears. Here, take my wedding band. That should convince her to stop looking for me. Running away isn't the solution. I disagree. Sure, I'm living in this tiny camp right now, but it's my choice. No one's here to tell me what to do. With wolves and lizard folk out here, you'd be lucky to survive another night. I suppose it is rather silly of me to think I could survive for any length of time out here given the, the current troubles with lizard folk. Very well, I'll return to Highcliff. Promise me you won't tell Juni what I did. I couldn't survive that, not with her temper. Um, I promise I won't tell Juni you ran away. I thank you. Let's both hope she never finds out about it. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a home to return to. Good day. You're gonna despawn? This Tetherian man has the graying hair and haggard face of a senior, but the shapely physique of a man in his twenty is his twenties. In his twenties, rather. The sag in his posture and the heavy bags under his eyes mark him as a casualty of marriage and children. Okay, that took shorter than I expected. So now we're gonna, I guess, bite off commit some animal cruelty uh, outside Highcliff Castle while I have time.
Oh look! Animals! Let's administer the animal cruelty to them. Lol, they're just uh, making a beeline for me. And they stop. The AI is surprisingly dumb in this game. Ah, crossbows are nice for uh, aggroing these guys. And now we can just use our unlimited uh, use Rod of Frost. I know there's more here off the beaten path. I guess we'll just clear them out. Yep, there they are. Hi. I mean, you can't actually damage me anyway. I have 5 damage reduction. And that's it. There's, yeah, there's also a world map transition there. Exit. I suspect this area um, had a lot more to it during development, but you know, a lot of it got removed. This game was rushed so badly. They there's like signs of abandoned stuff everywhere. Wolf. Ooh, crit. Show them your steel. Attack. I don't even have to attack, I can just have my companions do everything for me. The AI is decent enough, uh, but I can, I can always uh, take control of them manually if uh, you know I have a difficult fight on my hands. Oh hey look, more enemies. There are the kids, Andrew and Alex. Interesting. That one was immune to cold. We got him. Alright, let's talk to these kids. Almost got killed to death. <laughs> Thanks for helping us, stranger. Are either of you hurt? No, you're gonna yell at us now, aren't, aren't you? No, I'm not going to yell. Why did you two come out here? It was my fault that I was telling us stories about how about someone he met at the mayor and how they fought off a thousand lizardmen and evil dwarves and stuff. It didn't sound all too hard, so Alice and I came out here to look for some so we could fight them too. Ah, uh, your father was just telling stories. No one is able to do what he said. I don't know, lad. Maybe not a thousand, but we certainly. Shh. <laughs> Eleni just hushes him. How? What was that for? But Dad said he saw it with his own eyes, and Alex and me are both old enough to fight too. There was a fight, but there weren't a thousand, and the two of you shouldn't be worrying your parents like this. It was you, wasn't it? You were the one that saved Dad and the mayor. Um, even if I was, do I look like I could take on a thousand enemies at once? No, I guess not. You're not as big as Dad said you were. Uh, right, now can the two of you find your way back? Yes, just until now we got in trouble, alright, please? Uh, they don't need to know how close you came to being eaten. Now get going. You handled that quite well. Have you children of your own? Uh, this is hardly the kind of life suited for raising... I've already got three children I'm leading around as it is. Ah, on the off chance I get tired of cracking skulls, I'll need, a, I'll need to find a calmly dwarven wench and make me a whole clan of iron fists. I really don't want to hear this, especially anything about calmly dwarven wenches. So says the girl with horns and a tail. Don't be judging dwarven women too harshly. What they lack in stature, they make up for in spirit. Well, judging from what I've seen, I believe our noble leader will make an excellent parent. Was that an offer? 
to you. I'm not some mere villager girl to be swept off the ground by your by your bold suggestion. Uh, I'll worry about being a parent only if I have to. We should be moving on. This isn't the safest place to stand and talk. Hey, foreshadowing. Oh, well, even if, if Eleni gets her match, she, she dies to death anyway. So, it's a moot point. Alright, it's 10.57 right now. Um, I will probably uh, end the stream right here at anticlimactically. Uh, next time, I guess we'll be heading up to High Cliff Castle. Oh, there's Slan right there. He's... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let, let's, uh, let's go meet Slan now. That's a good stopping point for this uh, this session. He's fighting some zombies. And since, you know, this is kind of like a... Let's actually uh, cast haste. There. How can I help? Move closer. All right, let's fucking go. Give me a moment. I believe we have enemies drawing near. And let's aggro these enemies too. Give me a moment, and this will all be over. not fight you. Slan must get help. Calm down, we don't want to fight you. We don't? All right. It's your choice. What kind of help are you talking about? Slan must ask chief for more warriors. Dead ones kill many clansmen already. More warriors trapped below. Slan leads clan here to sink human boats. Dead ones attack Slan's warriors. Slan escape. Slan must ask chief for more warriors to fight. So your clan is responsible for the troubles in Highcliff. Or, if I help you save your clansmen, will you take me to your chief? How can Slan trust you? You might attack chief. I just want to talk. We might solve the problem in Highcliff without more violence. Slan, believe you. Help save Slan's clan, and Slan take you to chief. Hope you know what you're doing, lad. Letting him go is one thing, but fighting side by side with lizards? <laughs> Don't let Dwarven suspicions bother you. I trust you. I know what I'm doing. Where are your clansmen, Slan? Dead ones have Slan's men trapped below. You help Slan save them. Slan, take you to chief. All right, so let's do this. And, oh, I guess they temporarily despawned so we could have that chat in relative safety. All right, kill them all. And since this is, we're gonna be resting anyway. I'm just gonna spam my spells. There, we got them all. We're really close to level 7 now, at which point I will be getting uh, a second Scorching Ray. Alright, so let's rest. Alright, this looks like a good stopping point for our session today. So let's save the game. Dale Ketter OC3. So we managed to, uh, we managed to finish up the fourth lock side quests. Uh, reach Highcliff and then made our way to the entrance of Highcliff Castle and managed to talk Nojutsu uh, Slan into joining our party. Also earlier, we managed to talk Nojutsu the Bandit Chief into joining the Fort Lock Defenders, which is nice. Alright, so that's gonna be it. I'm gonna exit the game. And now, I am going to be raiding someone. Let's figure out who to raid. Which of the cool people I'm following 
is uh is streaming right now well there's a cool fellow let's raid this mother lover oh is he about to end his stream Uh, yeah, actually, it looks like he's about to end his stream, but uh, fuck it. <laughs> anyway, let's go give Chuck a raid. He's a streamer in the same area as me. I met him through a cool person named Lucky Khajiit. Anyway, uh, this will be it for today, and now let's raid Chuck. Click.